Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a pretty long haul. So I suggest you guys go and grab a coffee, go grab a snack, grab some donuts, grab your lunch and your dinner because this might take a while. <laughs> so this is what it's looking like. It's pretty big. I'm not gonna say I'm proud of myself because I'm not really proud of myself. I am a little bit though. So let's get into this. So this first product I have here, by the way, I filmed this once already and it was too dark. So that's why these products are opened already. So this is the Sephora Favorites Painted Pink. That's what that looks like. And it comes with three full-size products. Yes, three full-size products. You need this. Let me just tell you, you need this in your life. I love the Sephora Favorites. I just love them. Like, I've been wanting a beauty blender. It comes with a beauty blender, full size. So, I've been wanting a new one, and this was perfect. It's $40. The beauty blender itself is $20. So, can't beat that. It also comes with this Tarte blush in the shade Blissful. I can open this. Okay. That's what that looks like. The packaging is very simple, pretty, and small. So, I'm going to swatch this right here. I just did my BoxyCharm unboxing, so this is why you might see that little swatch. So this is Blissful. It's like a nice peachy, rosy shade. It's like a peachy rose. That's what it looks like to me. This one is another full-size product, and it's Laura Mercier Lipstick in the color French Kiss. I really love this color. I feel like I'm going to be using it a lot for the summertime. It's like, like kind of like a raspberry-ish, strawberry kind of color. It's like it's pink. It looks bright, but it's not as bright as any other lip colors. I don't know. I feel like it's very wearable. So that's what that looks like. This is another one of their full-size products. This is the last one. And this is an Urban Decay eyeshadow. And this is in the shade Scratch. So this is a very nice pink. It's like a frosty pink. That's what that looks like. I really love it. I want to try using it with the Manny palette, which I have in there too. I want to try and use it with that. Let's see how that looks. This one, oh my god, this is so cute. So this is a Becca highlight. I love their little packaging. Like, they remade the big ones, and it's so cute. And this is in the shade Rose Gold. So I don't have this one in full size. So this is pretty cool. I feel like with these little sample size ones, you'll be good to go. So much product in it. So that's what that looks like. Let me blend it in a little bit, and you can see it better that is and the last one is the benefit roller lash this was very popular a few months ago I do have um, the full size my sister actually gifted gifted it to me for my birthday last year I think no I think it was for Mother's Day last year so that oh no one more thing so it also comes with a little makeup forever lip gloss it's an artist pexi gloss that's like the name of the shade. I don't know, but it doesn't say it. So it's very glossy. It's really glossy. You can put it on top of any kind of lip color because it's pretty sheer. Like it looks peach, but it's pretty sheer. That's what it looks like. And that's all that was in this little set. I do think it's worth for the $40. I mean, you get a full size lipstick and the full size Urban Decay eyeshadow. If you're into like that pinky frosty eye look which would be nice for the summertime so I really do think this set is worth it so this next one you guys need this in your life I don't know why it took me so long to purchase this this is ugh, the Anastasia glow kit in that glow I love this I am wearing it today I don't know if the camera's picking it up but I love it and I didn't even wear my color pop under this so that speaks for itself so this comes with four different highlights this one is sunburst golden bronze bubbly and dripping in gold 
They are all such pretty. Oh my god, I just grew. It's fine. So this is what um I'm gonna just put it here because I have a lot of eyeshadows to show you guys. And I can't find baby wipes anywhere, which is pretty weird. But yeah. Oh I gotta fix that. Okay. So this is dripping in gold. Please don't mind my swatches. This is bubbly. This is the yellow wear one. Oh no, I'm sorry, that is sunburst. The yellow one is sunburst. This one is bubbly. And kind of lost track there. This is golden bronze. So they're all such beautiful shades, and you could just mix them all, use them all for oh my god, look at my hands. You can just use them all at once. I like using bubbly and dripping in gold. Those are my favorites. I haven't really tried sunburst or golden bronze, but probably when I'm a little more, well, when I am, get a little tan. Not that I'm white, but when I get a tan, it's gonna look super duper nice. So I really recommend this, especially like if you can't really go out and buy one or two or three highlights. You have four here for $40, so pretty good and the pans are huge like let me show you actually let me open this back up okay so this is the highlight pan right I'm gonna show you an eyeshadow pan so you can see the difference I don't have any Anastasia eyeshadows so I can compare it to that so I'm just gonna show you this is my makeup geek blush Next to the pan on this one, now you can see it's still bigger. This is the eyeshadow pan. So as you can see, they're huge. I was surprised. I honestly thought it was going to be a smaller palette. Oh my god. Oh, please don't break. Please don't break. Okay. I didn't fart. That was my sock. I promise. So I really thought it was going to be a smaller pan, but they are huge. It's totally worth $40. Ugh. Oh, and I just realized the packaging is shiny. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned it, but I got it in, the sh in that glow. There's two um, different ones. So this is that glow. The other one, I felt like it was a little too light, and it had like a pinkish shade that I didn't like. So that's that. Gosh. So this next one... Ugh. This is a Bobbi Brown highlight. Now, I've been dying to try these. This is in Bronze Glow. Holy guacamole. You guys ready for this? Put a little bit more because I love it. So that's what that looks like. I don't even think it's picking it up so well. I'm just going to keep moving it around. <laughs> But this is what it looks like, and it is so freaking pretty. I feel like for the summertime, it's going to be so cute. See how intense that is? Yes. That highlight, though. So that's that. I also picked up the chocolate, the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. This is in the shade medium to deep matte bronze I don't know how I'm feeling about it I really don't my hair crazy there's a little everywhere today I'm sorry I don't even know if I have fingers left so this is the chocolate bronzer in medium to deep I don't know how I'm loving this shade I don't know I might have to take it back because I don't know how I'm feeling this It does smell so good. It smells so good. I just think it's a little too light for me. A little too light. I have this Buxom Plumping Lip Gloss, which anything that has plumping, I'm totally down for because my lips are super duper tiny. And I love a good plump. So I got it in the shade Dolly. This is what it looks like. Pretty cute packaging and stuff, but I don't know. Plus, I don't like the, the smell of it. So it's like a pretty pinky shade. Hmm. Let's do this one. So I haven't even 
put this on my lips. This is the Dose of Color Cork Liquid Matte Lipstick. I love the Dose of Colors formula. I really, really love it. So this is what it looks like. I love their packaging also. Like they do so good. Oh my God, my poor arm. So that's what that looks like. It reminds me like of a tree trunk color, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? I don't know. That's what it reminds me of, like a tree trunk brown. I know. That's weird. Should I just go liquid lipsticks? Yeah, just do, let's just do liquid lipsticks. So I placed an order with ColourPop for their liquid lipsticks, and I freaking love them. This is in the shade More Better. I really love them. I just don't like that they're so watery, but the color and the pigmentation and the formula, I love it. That's what that looks like. That's More Better. This is like like a cherry kind of I don't know looks like a cherry yeah kind of like a cherry <laughs> Let's stick to cherry this is limbo I actually have a picture on my Instagram wearing limbo and I love it oh my gosh I'm going too low that is limbo I love limbo it's like a dark brown this is Chili Chili. I love Chili Chili. Oh my god, I love all of these colors. This is like... If I can see, it's like brown. But it's like... I don't know, but it's a nice color. <laughs> it's a really nice color. And this is perfect for like that everyday color. It's perfect. And that's perfect for like an everyday look. Like if you're going to work or anything, it's a beautiful color. This is Tool. And I think this is the last one. Yes, this is my last one that I ordered. This is Tool. So those are all the ColourPop lipsticks. So moving on to Morphe. Yes, I love Morphe brushes. This is a Morphe E8. I want to use this for my concealer, like the bearer. <laughs> and this is the Morphe M527, which I was dying for. Morphe actually had, I think it was 40% off. Yeah, it was like a flash 40% off or 20% off or something. So I went, grabbed it, just like that. <laughs> so this is what they look like. They're so pretty. I want to use this to bronze because, let's be real, my face pretty big so I feel like this one will be a lot easier when I'm bronzing not like the other one I love the other brush I forgot what number it is the one that I always use to bronze my face I love it but it is a little smaller than this so maybe this will be my replacement Let's see so that was all I got with Morphe oh with Colourpop I also ordered this highlight I know I love these Colourpop ones so this is in this shade Wisp. I have so many highlights. I'm getting ready for the summertime. Don't judge me. So I'm just gonna swatch this here because I have nowhere else to. <laughs> so that's what that looks like. It's such a pretty golden highlight. I feel like this is gonna be perfect for when I wear just like a little bit of mascara, maybe a little bit of little gloss, or like, you know, a neutral lipstick or something. Just with a little bit of this, I like to go to the beach maybe, or if it's too hot, I don't want to wear any kind of like heavy foundation. This would look so perfect just to dab it on. I'm not going to dab. I'm not going to dab. <laughs> so this is another color pop. I totally forgot I got this. This is, an, this is a Super Shock shadow in the shade Telepathy. Oh my goodness, I love this. I actually did a tutorial on with this and... I need to start learning how to focus the freaking camera. I really do. So this is telepathy, and I'm just gonna put it right here because I'm running out of space. So that's what tele telepathy looks like. It's such like a pretty greenish kind of gold. It's like green gold kind of shade. It's very shiny, it's very pigmented. I love to apply this with my fingers. And, well, my finger, I don't use old 10 for it. <laughs> 
So I like to apply with my finger and then just kind of blend it out with the brush because if you apply with the brush, it doesn't pick up as much product. That's the only thing I don't like about the ColourPop, but other than that, like their pigment is awesome. So that's that. Let's see if I can take some of this off before it all like stains me. Okay, so moving on. What's next? Oh my goodness. So I'm not going to swatch this because I already swatched it, but I wanted to show it again because I freaking love it. This is the Makeup Geek Mani MUA palette. Oh, love it. This is what that looks like. I freaking love it. I need to do some more tutorials with this one because this is my fave. This is my fave. I'm not going to swatch it because I have a video on this palette, so I will link it down below. How about that? I don't even know if it's in stock right now. I know the Sephora Favorites palette was in stock. Okay, so i uh, show you guys some drugstore. So this is the Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette in Eclairago in the shade Catwalk Pink. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty big. It's my hand. So that's what that looks like. And this is a pretty nice highlight for, I think it was like $4. For $4, this is pretty good. So what I do like to do is go like this. And it just makes them all. <laughs> that's what I like to do with this one. It gives you like a pinkish kind of, I don't know if you can see it here, like a white cast. But if you go like right on the side, there's like this nice golden highlight. Well, it kind of looks like rose gold now, but that's that one. And on this side, it's more like a champagne-y kind of highlight. These are a little bit more powdery than your normal highlights, so you really have to like work this in. But for $4, they're not bad at all. I also found, let me just wipe this, I also found the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette, oh my god I was so excited when I walked into Rite Aid, no, Dwayne Reed and saw this, so this is in the shade Caramel Toffee, guys the pigment on this is crazy, the formula, it's so buttery soft. I was surprised. I was expecting it to be chalky and like dry. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like, oh my God, it's crazy. Honestly, I'm so, I'm so surprised. I wasn't really surprised. That looks like it's not picking up nice because like I've been wiping my hand, but it's very nice. Oh my goodness. This yellow shade reminds me of the Kat Von D palette. That highlighting shade, the middle one, that's what that reminds me of. And this one even feels a little bit more buddy, buttery. <laughs> so I got this from Target. This is the e.l.f. Illuminating... Target? I think so. This is the e.l.f. Illuminating... Illum this is the e.l.f. Illuminating Face Primer. So I want to try using this with my foundation. I don't know, I'm like on a highlighting kick. Summer's coming, so we want to be about that highlight. So that's what that looks like. It's a nice golden highlight. I think it'll look nice with the foundation. Not too much of it, just like a little bit to give you that glow. So I forgot to show you guys, and this was also included in the Sephora Favorites. It's like a nice, it's a nude, like a pale nude shade. Almost kind of giving it towards the white, but it's not white, but it's not pale, but it's not pink, you know? So these last eyeshadows are from MAC. This is what their packaging looks like. I have them all out of the packaging already because, like I said, this is the second time I filmed. So I had to put them in here. It's my little, little Z palette. So I'm going to swatch them and then I'll tell you guys the name. By the way, I ordered the MAC eyeshadows because they recently went down to $6. And they were $10 before, I think. Yeah, $10 each. So when I saw $6, I was like, yes, I'm going to order a few. These are my first MAC eyeshadows. So I'm excited to try how these... I'm excited to try and see how they work. <laughs> so this is in the shade Antique. Now this is like a nice copper shade. I don't like their little, they have like a magnet in the back, but I don't like how it sits in here. Like it can fall out so easily. So this is Antique. It's like a nice copper shade. I love it. That's how it looks. It has a little bit of shimmer to it, not too much, but it has a little bit. 
So this is Embark and this is a dark brown shade. I feel like it has a little bit of kind of like a burgundy undertone. This is what that looks like. This is a matte shade. So this one is in the shade Gleam. And this is such a pretty color. So this is what Gleam looks like. In the lighting right now, it kind of had like a little reflex of gold, but it's like a pink, a shimmery pink shade. Now this one is definitely a gold shade. This is amber. Oh my God, these eyeshadows hate me. This is in the shade Amber Lights. And that is what that looks like. It's beautiful shimmery gold color. I'm like moving my hand so the light can kind of catch the, um, called the shimmer in it this one is red brick and this is very different from the eyeshadows that I have so I'm excited to give this a try it's like an orange red it's not red it's not orange it's red orange it's red brick Marina, that's a red orange though. So this one, I think this is the last one. No, one more. This is in the shade Sable. And this is like a shimmery mauve shade. This is so pretty. That's what that looks like. And these are all such beautiful shades. I'm so glad I ordered it because they're beautiful. I have one more actually. I have two more, <laughs> sorry. This is in the shade Hoax. This is also a purpley mauve shade. That's what that looks like. Sorry, my swatches are horrible right now. I don't know what's going on. So this is the shade Navel. And this is a blue color, which I'm excited to try as well. I'm excited to try everything. Clearly I am. So that looks like, let's watch this. This one, I wasn't crazy about the pigmentation on it. I don't know, I felt like they could have done better. It is a matte shade. And last but not least, and last but not least, this is Nylon. This is such a popular color that I just had to grab it. I'm gonna put this one on the top because that's too low already. So this is like straight up like a pearly white. Actually, no, it's not pearly. It's like a white white. <laughs> it's really pretty. It has a little shimmer to it. Those were all the MAC eyeshadows. So I picked this up from Forever 21. It's little makeup sponges. I thought they were so cute because they're pink. And I used this to clean up my contour and bake. Oh, speaking of, speaking of, where is it? Where are you? I picked up the Ben I Natural setting powder and I love it. Oh my God, I really love it. I love how it sets my under eye. It looks so flawless. I did use another one. I did use another one today. I used the e.l.f. setting powder, which I don't know if you can see it, but I baked and put it on my under eyes and everything, and I feel like it left a white cast on my face. I don't know if that's just me or it's really there, but I'm not crazy about it. It's also very, 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 very powdery, like extremely powdery. I have it. Up there but I don't even want to get it because it just got so dirty and and this is my first time using it so it was too much product too much too much of everything too much of a mess that's what it was it was a lot of a mess this one doesn't have sorry 
This one, um, I feel like this one is less powdery and it's just, it works really nice. I want to try and get the RCMA powder at iMats, so yeah. So that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys on my next one.